Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have interesting exponential equation 5 to the 7 to the power x equal to 7 to the power 5 to the power x. Of course, you know an answer. If you feel an answer, write your suggestion in the comment. So let's try to solve it. At first, we have this 7 to the power x and 5 to the power x. If we take a log from both of the sides, this 7 to the power x jump right here and 5 to the power x jump right here. So let's do this. Let's take natural log from both of the sides. So we will have natural log 5 to the power 7 to the power x equal to natural log 7 to the power 5 to the power x. And knowing the main log property, this jump right here and this jump right here. So let's write the result. We will have 7 to the power x times natural log 5 equal to 5 to the power x times natural log 7. What are we going to do next? Of course, we have a situation like that. We can take in one small log and then x jump right here. It's a, it will be a really good case. So let's take once more a natural log from both of the side. So we will have natural log from the left, 7 to the power x times natural log 5 equal to natural log of 5 to the power x times natural log 7. So what we're going to do next? Of course, we have a product right here, so we can write it as a sum using a log property. So we will have natural log 7 to the power x plus natural log of natural log 5 equal to right here the same thing, natural log of 5 to the power x times natural log of natural log 7. What we're going to do next? Of course, the situation like that we have right here. So we can write this x in the beginning. We can write this x right here and this x right here. So let's write it. We will have x times natural log 7 plus natural log of natural log 5 equal to x natural log 5 times natural log of natural log 7. So we just bring this x right here. So what we're going to do next? Of course, we need our x's on the left and our values, our numbers on the right. So let's bring this, this on the left and this on the right. So we will have x times natural log 7 minus this x natural log 5 equal to natural log of natural log 7 minus this natural log of natural log 5. What we're going to do next, this x and this x we can factor out as a common, so we will have x and in parentheses we will have only ln natural log 7 and minus ln 5 equal to this we can write of course as a division with as a fraction, so let's write it natural log of natural log 7 over natural log 5. Same situation like this with this plus, but we have minus, so we divide in this by that. And the last step, we have x right here, and we need to divide in both sides by this, because we don't need this near our x. So as a result, we will have x equal to, right here, this on the nominate, in the nominator, natural log of natural log 7 over natural log 5, and all over natural log 7 over 5. And, of course, we can simplify this a little bit, and you, if you're interested with this, you can simplify it by yourself. I'll add this right here. So if you agree with this, if you disagree, maybe you have faster method how to solve this, write your suggestion in the comment, write your answer in the comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.